Hey guys, Crazy Redneck here again. Um, sitting out in the old minivan. Um, it's raining right now. Again. I was supposed to go into work today, but my boss said if it's raining, don't even come in. Well, it fucking rained half an inch last night, and it's fucking started raining again about an hour ago. Well, yeah, right now we're sitting in the minivan and had some, had some good memories in this fucking van, but the fucking uh, engine case is fucking cracked, so it's either put a new engine in it or just leave it sit here. I don't know. I like it. I might just make it into a fucking deer blind. That way I can still use it, but... As you can see, my dad took in the radio out, and I don't know why he took the lights off the top, but... And it's used for storage. He's got his toolbox in here and the fucking sleds in here. Uh, I keep my fishing poles in here. And when I was going to get my fishing poles out of here, from when it still worked and I went fishing with it the one time, I forgot I had this in here. Basically what it is, is this main piece here is off a old windmill that got tore down. Then we have a piece here, this top piece is just a little angle section that I found laying around. This here is off a shooting stick for a hunting rifle. Yeah, bolts and nuts and another bolt. And this is off of, this piece here is off of electric fence post, and you got another bolt and another nut. And then you got this. And basically it's a homemade shooting stick. It's a lot sturdier than the plastic one that I got this top part off of. Um, basically it's a stake down piece, or you can just shove it in the ground like a regular one. But, uh... As you can see, this one you can pretty much just jam down because it's metal. But you can also put a stake or something down here to give it extra extra strength when you're sitting there. But I like this one. Uh, it's self-adjusting up, down, left, right. You can do fucking angle shooting with it. If you're shooting up or down a hill, you can adjust it for that. You can just the height I don't know how easy it's gonna do or gonna be with one hand but this is as low as you can get it to the form and then like I said I can usually do it a lot quicker there we go I can usually get this done a lot quicker with two hands As you can see, you just gotta push the nut against there and spin it real quick. Now that's your height adjust. If you want it all the way up, simply just and I know it's not perfect not made to be perfect it's redneck so <clears throat> but it works as long as it works then all you gotta do is tighten this all the way down and it up. tighten it you can use the pliers or you can just snug it up by hand but there you just adjusted the height if you want to shoot I don't know why you'd want to shoot it but like this but if you wanted to you can do this you can shoot it off to the side tighten that up you know you can shoot it like that I don't know why you would or you could just like slide it into a tree and hook it on there so you could shoot from trees buildings whatever else you want to shoot from 
Um, just loosen it back up, pop it up, tighten it back up, or you can shoot, of course, like that way. Snug it all the way across, or push it against there, tighten it up, and you're ready to go. That's how you usually can shoot it. This can be used for left and right hand, because as you can see, it's sitting in that hole right now for right hand. You can put it in that hole for left-handed shooter, or you can just put it in this hole, this uh, middle section, and then you can move it forward and upward. I like it in the stationary right hand position. Um, if you want to shoot up or downhill, you can just loosen that up a little bit. Turn the mount. Now it's facing that way. Now, if you want to shoot uphill, all you gotta do is get it at the angle you want, tighten it up. For the angles, I would probably tighten. Hold on, I'm gonna put you down here for a second. If you want, if you want it really sturdy, I would tighten this up with a pliers. But as you can see now, you can shoot it up at an angle. Or if you're shooting downhill, loosen it up. Like I said, I would rather have a players and tighten it up a lot snug. But now you can see it's shooting downhill. So you can shoot it pretty much... For angles, or freaking, I don't know what the hell. But all you have to do is loosen this up, turn it, hold it, tighten it back up. And now you can shoot um, you know, angles like that. Or like that. But all I mean, all you need to do is carry this in a player, then good to go it's sturdy I've shot my 223 off of it you know I should sharpen this a little this end a little better but it doesn't need to be because it's pretty sturdy so you can just jam it into the fucking ground plus you can put a stake right down there um, it's fucking raining pretty good again Boy, you're getting shit done when it fucking rains. I loaded up a load of scrap metal, but I don't want to take it till it fucking dries out a little so I don't make ruts up at my aunt's yard. Because <clears throat> it's in the quonset up at my aunt's place. But yeah, this didn't cost me a damn thing. You know, just spare parts laying around the house. Like always. But yeah. I thought it was pretty neat. It was a hell lot better than my other plastic shooting stick. The bottom thing on my other shooting stick, or the bottom section, is already bent, so you can't put that all the way back in. But yeah, this one works really good. It can withstand the recoil of my 223. Um, 22, of course. But it's nice just to, you know, have. You probably put like a sling through here, through this section, and then you can carry it on your back, put it in a backpack or whatever. Carry it by hand, it's not, it's maybe like two pounds. So, and of course, if I ever just want to fucking use my other fucking shooting stick, I'll put you down there for a minute. Boom. It's off of there. All you have to do is twist it back on. Hold the bolt, twist it back on. Kind of got to hold the bolt with the other hand, but as long as it's somewhat snug on there. But yeah, for elevation and shit kind of nice you can make small adjustments with it um, yeah
yeah. Just wanted to make a video of that. I was like, oh shit, I forgot that's even in there. So I figured I'd do a video on it. But yeah, even if, you know, you f buy some scrap metal or something for it, it's probably just going to cost you a couple bucks. Maybe five bucks. Five, ten dollars. Goods, the fucking cheap ass plastic piece of shit I got from Walmart was twenty bucks. And I should have just made this right away for free. Probably going to cost, if you want to buy the shit, <clears throat> couple couple dollars to buy the scrap metal but yeah works a lot better than my other one but this is crazy redneck sign off peace out youtube